says the stage becomes bigger, the bat drops get better. How gratifying does it feel to know that you got all of that one? Yeah, I mean, that one felt pretty good. Um, you know, it's one of those things where uh, uh, there's not too many times you're going to connect on 100 miles an hour right in the middle of the barrel. Uh, so, I mean, that's one of those things where even if it was kind of a ground ball, that bat was coming out of my hands. It just, uh, it, it just, it felt really solid. Um, thankfully, I got it in the air though. I don't have to worry about running too hard. Uh, but yeah, it, the swing felt really good. The first three at flat, at bats, plate appearances, you find a way to get on base three for four tonight, uh, or three for uh, two for three tonight with the walk. Is it nice to be able to start really playing well at the right time? So much of this game is about timing and, and rhythm, and it seems like you've found it in this postseason. Yeah, um, you know, I say all the time that the stats and all that kind of stuff don't doesn't matter to me, um, except for maybe walks, just because that means I'm getting on base. I'm giving my team a, a chance to score runs. Uh, all I care about is winning the postseason. Um, that's all any of us care about. Uh, you know, I say it all the time, we don't matter. The team matters. Next question is from Adam McKelvey. Go ahead. Max, can you uh, talk us through what you saw when uh, the runner broke from third and trying to get Kershaw's attention and then for him to keep his calm and properly step off and throw home? How, how impressive is that to you? Yeah, well, it's, uh, you know, to me, it's just Kersh. Um, you know, he's been doing that delivery for a long time now. So he's obviously aware of people possibly attempting to do that. So he knew right away just to step off. But, uh, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to see one or two guys in the past, uh, you know, maybe break hard and not necessarily try to steal, but they broke hard. So I knew what to expect when I saw him. And uh, as soon as I saw him break, I, I sprinted straight towards Kirsch and said, home, home, home. And he knew what to do from there. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Given how last night's game ended, Max, how important was it to come out and get on top as quick as you guys did? Uh, I mean, I just think it was huge uh, in any case. You know, none of us were thinking about last night. Uh, yeah, we may have laid a dud, but we showed up today and, uh, you know, last night never happened to us. We were worried about today. We we're going to worry about the first pitch, worried about what we were going to do to glass now. And uh, everyone went out there and executed their plan like they're supposed to. Next question is from Evan Grant. Go ahead. Go ahead, Evan. Next question is from Jeff Wilson. Go ahead. And Max, between you and, and Clayton and Dustin, it was a pretty big night for DFW guys. How uh, how gratifying is it to to do that uh, in your hometown, in a, on the biggest stage? Uh, to be honest, I don't know that any of us are are thinking about that. We're just worried about trying to get a W for our team. And uh, you know, I think everyone, I think all three of us went out and did something tonight to help us win. That's all we care about. Next question is from Stephanie Epstein. Go ahead. Uh, it seemed like there was sort of a long conversation when Dave came out to take out uh, Kershaw. What, what was that like? Were you rooting for him to stay in? What were your feelings about that? Uh, you know, that's just one of those things where they talked about what was going to happen before that inning started. And, uh, you know, that's that, that was the plan the whole time. And, uh, you know, I think all of us wanted Kershaw to stay in. But, uh, you know, they had a plan. They executed the plan and uh, it worked out for us. Next question is from Kerry Osborne. Go ahead. Max, back to the back to that first inning when you were up. Corey takes second uh, on that dirt ball. Can you just talk about how uh, how big that was, his base running and your guys' aggressiveness on the base paths? Yeah, it was huge. Um, you know, I think that's his third or fourth dirt ball read. Uh, you know, he's he's been very good and very aggressive all postseason when it comes to that. And uh, you know, paid off for his big right there because uh, you know Belly is able to get a ball, uh, you know, for him to score on. So it was huge. Next question is from JP Hornster. Go ahead. Max, as somebody who's been in the position of being a platoon player in the World Series and now as an everyday starter, are you maybe more impressed when you see Jock Peterson hit as consistently as he has been in that role? Absolutely not. They don't call it Jocktober for no reason. Uh, they got, <laughs> got performs on the huge stage. Uh, this is just what he does. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Bill. The obvious one, Max. What does it feel like to be one win away? Uh. Hey, ask, ask me that tomorrow. Uh, for right now, we're still we're still just glad we won, and uh, we're going to start focusing on the first pitch for the next game. But uh, we're going to try not to get ahead of ourselves too much. Tomorrow might be a different story with the off day, but uh, you know, for right now, it's kind of just uh, you know, let's let's keep taking care of business. The job's not finished. Thanks, Max.